All right, so working on the Beetle today. Um, last that I talked, we were having to modify the fan shroud in order to allow the um, uh, carburetor to fit. So um, just to show you on uh, the intake manifold. So you got your intake manifold here. As you can see, I got some uh, rags stuffed down in it so nothing falls down. Uh, your oil cooler, your fan shroud goes here. And uh, we are using a um, two barrel uh, progressive carburetor, so 3236 uh, that you can see right here that we've already rejetted. What you're looking at is the, uh, this, is, this would be the front and this is the back. And as you can see this uh, electric choke here on the back um, sticks out pretty far. And what ends up happening is um, it ends up uh, resting against this uh, this fan shroud. So what we had to do was come in here and cut a hole out of the fan shroud. And inside of this, um, you've got fins that are curved that uh, help direct the airflow down. So we had to cut into some of those air fins a little bit. Uh, we took a piece of uh, round pipe that you can see here. Um, and uh, we welded that in and then filled it in and ground it down, you know, as best as we could. Um, and all this is going to be covered. You're not going to see it. But uh, we put in, we put a back backing plate on this, uh, um, this insert so that way no air comes out of this hole. It still is all directed uh, down. But um, in looking online, there were a couple of... Um, so suggestions one was uh pressing it in to like dimple it and uh we couldn't get it to dimple far enough we put a big old clamp on it and um it just uh it just wasn't going to work that way so uh the best thing to do was to uh cut that hole so we started with a hole saw and if you know anything about hole saws they can get pretty dull fairly quick especially grinding against metal uh, if you start seeing sparks fly, then you know you're done with that that uh, particular saw like this, like this guy. Uh, so we at least got it started to uh, give us a, a pattern to go by, and then we used a um, uh, we used a cutoff, an air cutoff tool like this guy here, uh, and I just uh, basically cut some almost like a uh, like a pizza, slicing a pizza. You do lines across and then start going around the circle and that helps it come off a lot easier. Uh, and then used a, another uh, air grinder like we have here um, with a pretty uh, kind of coarse style tip on the end. This has done really good. It really eats the metal away uh, and it's small enough that you can kind of really manage it. And so got, got down in those fins to grind those down um, and then uh, we popped that in um, tack welded it, made sure uh, that uh, the carburetor would fit. So now it's got this spot to uh, uh, for this to slide into. And on the back side where the wire goes for the uh, carburetor, we'll put a um, insulated uh, connection on it so that uh, in the case it did bump against this, it won't short out or anything. So um, that is uh, modifying your, your fan shroud for... Um, a progressive tin. One of the other things, uh, the other methods that some people use when putting this on, they say to make sure your manifold is as far forward as it can go. And as you can see on ours, it's pretty far forward. Um, it's got, you know, less than maybe, that's about an eighth of an inch or less that it could come forward, but then it would be touching against your fuel pump here. And so what they recommended was actually grinding away some of this um, intake manifold. But then you run the risk of actually grinding into the the manifold as far as where your ports are. And you definitely don't want to do that. So we didn't want to mess with that. We thought, well, if there's going to be anything we're going to grind. And then you got the visual of that. With this, you won't, you won't see it. It'll be all covered up. So uh, the only people that will know about it is uh, us and you guys if you happen to watch this. So uh, so that is modifying your fan shroud for a uh, progressive uh, two-barrel carburetor.